All right, guys, I finally got my package. It arrived today. We are going to go over how to upgrade the RAM on the Lenovo Legion 5. Uh, we went over uh, adding the memory and put the SSD card in last time. Uh, we're going to start off the same, take out the screws. You got four up top, three in the middle, and three smaller ones or four smaller ones actually here at the bottom. And then you're just going to want to take a credit card in between and pop the bottom off, and we'll open this up. All right, guys, once you have everything opened up, uh, you're going to see this protective casing right here. And this is what we're going to want to take off next. You can easily, see if I can get down here, just take a small flathead screwdriver at the bottom. And, of course, be very careful. Just lift up the edge there and go to the other side and pull this casing off completely. All right, and here we will see where we have our original eight gigs here. Now we have two slots, and this is what I wanna go over with you guys. You're not gonna see a huge difference going over 16 gigs here. The only reason why I'm going up to the maximum uh, memory that you can do with this laptop at 32 gigs is because I'm gonna have dual monitors. I'm going to be streaming, playing, editing, uh, have videos running at the same time, multiple uh, programs running at the same time. And especially with this uh, laptop, you have, you know, the Lenovo program within the laptop where you can dedicate all of the RAM and the GPU and everything towards one game. Um, it kind of cuts everything out and focuses everything your computer has on playing that game. So for those of you who are just wanting to... Um, you know, get better performance, better 3D rendering uh, for playing a single game and you're not gonna be doing all that other streaming and everything, I would suggest, because it's cheaper, you can buy this laptop already with 16 gigs, but it costs $100 more. You can simply, uh, for $100 less, buy the eight gigabytes memory of RAM and for about $30, buy another stick of eight gigs, um, 206 pin, uh, 2,666, megahertz stick of ram and slide it in the slot and you're at your 16 gigs you saved yourself uh you know roughly 60 to 70 dollars so what we're going to do here is first remove the original eight gigs here all right guys i'm just throwing this into the middle of the video because it's kind of important with this computer if you go down to the bottom here you should have this l um and you'll see lenovo vantage comes up now, when you're looking at this, you have a lot of options here. Um, this is after I've already, you know, installed the RAM. You can see the 32 gigs there. Uh, but you can go through here and you can set the computer to kind of sleep on all your other programs you have and focus all your power on the game that you're playing. Uh, that's why a lot of you, if you're just playing a game, you don't have multiple things running at a time. I would suggest just keeping that um, only upgrading to RAM. You can do it for around 30 bucks. Save yourself 100 bucks on the purchase of buying the computer with 16 gigs of RAM already in it. Um, and you'll be able to play the games without any issues. The only reason I did this, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, you can go up to the 32 gigs of RAM. And I'm going to be running dual monitors and running multiple programs. I figured it would be the best option for me. Uh, but you guys can do whatever you want to do. Um, I can also go through and show you guys some of the settings on this. If anybody wants that, I'll make a video on that. But let's get back to uh, putting this thing back together. All right. And since I do have my computer taken apart, I'm using my phone once again to do this. But you see these little clips on the side? Just pull them out. And it's as simple as that. You slide that right out. Okay, now what we're going to want to do, I went with ballistics crucial just for uh you know the price and quality so what you're gonna want to do is at a 45 degree angle slide this in oh sorry make sure you have everything lined up right of course slide it in and then push it down to where the clips clip over make sure it's in on both sides and there are options just to add, you know, one 16 gigs and run it with the eight, but your computer's only going to run at the lowest memory of RAM you have in there. Um, and like I said, most of you will just be able to add another um, eight gig 
stick of ram alongside what was already here and you'll get away just fine with that most of you won't need this much i'm just going to the full maximum memory of this because i am going to be running multiple programs um, just make sure that you do get the uh, 2666 hertz and everything is going to run the 206 pin don't end up buying a stick of ram i will link in the description below what i got um, just make sure if you get something different or if you're just going to get the eight um, add an additional eight gigs you uh you know you get the 2666 megahertz um something's gonna the 206 pin you don't end up with the wrong thing last thing you want to do is order something take it apart and not be able to get it back together or not have it work properly all right guys that's pretty much it as far as installation very simple don't even have to unscrew anything it's actually easier than when we added our uh, extra terabyte there you are going to want to line everything up put this protective casing back on make sure it is down all the way around all right and that is it we're gonna put it back together turn it on i'll show you how to check make sure the ram's reading and go over a few things with you guys let me just throw the back on here again all right guys once you have everything put back together i'm gonna want to just press the power button repeatedly tap the f2 key all right once everything's back on We'll get into this. I took a second longer than I expected. All right. And you are just want to go down to more settings here and you will see under system memory, whatever you have now installed. For me, I am up to my 32 gigs or and as you see here, 32,768 megabytes. Um, depending on, you know, if you just added another eight gigabytes, you'll see the 16 over there or uh, whatever you chose to do. You can also add a 116 gigabyte uh, stick on top of the eight that's already there and you'll have 24, but be careful doing that. Everything's not gonna match up. Your memory is gonna run at the lowest memory, um, you know, stick of RAM that you have in there. Guys, that's it. It's a lot simpler. We don't have to, um, you know, allocate anything. We don't have to do anything. You just simply exit out of here, um, let your computer boot up. And if you do notice anything stuttering, lagging at all, um, have any issues, just let the computer run for a few minutes, catch up. And from that point, you know, reboot it and everything should be fine. You're good to go. Uh, guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a like down below. I'm thinking of doing a video, um, for you guys building the most cost effective gaming desktop that you can in 2020 uh, to run all of the new games but keeping that price tag as low as possible if that's something you guys want to see i'd be happy to do it um, any questions leave down below i get back to many as you as possible guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video